you're seeing this Glenn Plays video, this means that you're very special because I wasn't going to do this video and it's surprising how it even made it to YouTube. But um... I just did Mortal Kombat as a bonus video for Glenn Plays Mondays. And I talked about the comparisons between Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo and how a lot of the games on the Sega Genesis I thought were better. Um, I can't honestly say that as far as... As far as the Super NES version of this game goes, all you have to do is watch Game On with Austin and Glenn, and we did both of these games for the Sega Genesis and Super NES. The Super NES was way superior, and we're going to look at that right now. The Sega Genesis one I can't even fucking look at anymore. That game was just abysmal on every fucking account. I'm a really disappointed that there's no Green Ranger, but I'm... I'm guessing that the programmers of this game didn't really know much of the story before the Green Ranger saga. So I'll just go with Jason, because he's the closest one to the Green Ranger. We cut, Me and Austin conquered the game, there's no mention of the Green Ranger anywhere, so... Honestly, the controls of this game are really nice. It's actually not a bad beat-em-up game. And I, lo I love the music, the music's really good. The music on the Genesis one was very lacking. Everything on the fucking Genesis version of this game was lacking. The gameplay, the music, the fucking level design. This is a very fun beat-em-up type game too, like, just to relieve stress. Now, I mentioned everything that fucking quarks me about uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I mentioned in those videos, me and Austin both did. If these guys are trying to conceal their identity, why are each of them wearing the color of their fucking ranger suit? I'm the Red Ranger and he's wearing a fucking pair of wet, red sweatpants and a fucking red and white t-shirt. As far as the other rangers go too, they're wearing their fucking colors too. Not to mention, too, the whole show is flawed. If Rita really wanted to destroy them, all she, she knows the identity of them already. She would just fucking tell the whole world about it. I gotta fight the putties. We're not here to discuss Power Rangers, though. I've done it enough. I'm hot. I, I can't stress enough that I'm disappointed that Tommy, the Green Ranger, is not in the game. But the music sounds better on this game, like the Power Rangers theme. The theme of the game is better. It's a beat-em-up game, you get to fight as Zords later on. It did everything right that it was supposed to for a Power Rangers game. The, the Sega Genesis one was like a, a fighter game, like kind of like Mortal Kombat, and it failed miserably on every fucking level. I don't even want to look at the fucking cartridge. But the Super NES version, I still play from time to time. It's a fun little beat 'em up game, just like now what you're seeing now. It's just, it's just like I said, another. It's just fun to shoot shit, and in some cases, it's just fun to beat the shit out of people. And I honestly do really love the music. And you can pick shit up and throw it at people. That's fucking awesome. I think I just got an invincibility perk and there's shit being thrown at me. I think it's kind of flamboyant how they jump. They flip and then they like throw their fucking arms out. Like what the, what the hell is that about?
not to mention in, in today's world of, you know, political correctness and shit. We mentioned this earlier in the uh, game on with Austin and Glenn when we played this game. Every sprite is the same. If you choose a woman or a man, they all look like the Red Ranger. Or they're very muscular. I don't know if that's sexist or not. You, you guys would have to tell me what you think. I mean, it, the sprites, if you're choosing a woman character and they got no boobs or whatever, is, is that sexist? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. My mind's being warped right now. It's like suddenly what was okay isn't okay anymore. One thing that is okay is fuck, fucking giant monsters, which is what I'm hoping I can get to at some point in this game, without making it go on too long. Oh yeah, here's the boss fight. Like, even the boss music is fucking cool. It's like a more dramatic version of the Power Rangers theme song. The Genesis version didn't have shit on this version. It was horrible. I, I, I remember this guy from the show, but I don't remember what his name was. Yeah! You press the fucking Y button, he does that, like, power bomb move. That's fucking insanely epic. Of course, in the show, they rarely had to fight enemies on their own. It's like, where the fuck, where the fuck is the other rangers that do this shit, that help you out with it? God damn it, like, shit like this is just, is tedious. Yeah, fuck you, you skeleton head piece of shit. Let me a fucking morph out of this piece of shit area. Alright, I'm gonna choose the Blue Ranger because... Because of how funny his fighting stance is. I honestly want to say they... They, they chose him to do this because of what they did to him on the TV show. From what I heard, there's a lot of people making fun of Billy the Blue Ranger for him being gay. And he seemed like a really nice guy. That's fucking bullshit. So I'm gonna play as a Blue Ranger. Fuck all of you. I don't care if he's gay. He still had a fucking awesome weapon, he had that, like, that, that fucking trident thing. He had a fucking triceratops as a fucking dinosaur zord. Dinosaur. Whatever you want to call it. You know, a triceratops could take the T-Rex on in a pretty decent battle, I have to say. I saw a book on it once. Actually, my son's got the book on it. Do I get to morph into the Blue Ranger now? Then I get to fight that fucking golem weird elf thing. Yeah! Who's gay now, motherfucker? Yeah, look at that shit! You don't fuck with the Blue Ranger. Fucking Red Ranger can't do that with his sword. 
Did you? Did you? Power Rangers is definitely a franchise between the, the two systems where they experimented on. But, um, this game was a step in the right direction. I don't think Power Rangers worked necessarily well as a, a fighter game, like Mortal Kombat. But as a fighter game, yeah, it definitely worked well, like, uh, this system right here. But, uh, there's other Power Rangers games I wasn't aware of when me and Austin played. Power Rangers on Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. But there's Power Rangers the movie for Sega Genesis and Power Rangers the movie for Super Nintendo. And they both took their liberties on experimenting with the gameplay. Um, the Sega Genesis version was more like a traditional side-scrolling beat-em-up game. Like Final Fight or Double Dragon. You got to walk up and down, left and right. You weren't really constricted by movement, really. And it, it worked just like that. It worked fine. The Sega, the Sega Genesis version of Power Rangers the movie was awesome. The Super Nintendo one was okay, but not that great. You had to press R1 or R2 to switch between up or down. Movement. You couldn't just go up or down, left or right. But you were constricted like four planes on on each level. It's hard to explain, but it was really fucked up when I first started playing uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie for Super Nintendo. The Sega Genesis version was actually far superior that time. Like, the music and everything was awesome. But this video is going on long enough. You, you've seen me play Power Rangers before. If you watch the Game On with Austin and Glenn videos. It's, it's nothing new. I mean, you've, you've seen this level, you've seen me and Austin play it. So... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Super NES. Pretty good beat-em-up uh, game. Kind of platforming elements, if you will. Is it one of the best games ever? No, but it, if you can get it cheap enough, it's definitely worth the price. I, I paid two bucks for it. And I think it was worth it for that. The Sega Genesis one, I... Oh yeah, you get the Ninja Gaiden-style wall jump. Never mind, I... Super Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. If you can get it cheap enough, go pick it up. It, you know, it's worth buying if you can get it cheap enough. My name's Glenn. I will see you all next week with whatever I do. Actually, you weren't even supposed to see this video, so this is kind of like a bonus video, so... Go watch one of my other videos, or go watch the scheduled Glenn Plays Mondays video, whatever it might be. I'll see you all next time, bye.